please welcome from the Real Housewives of New York City, Bethany Franco, Randy Lissette, and Ramona Singer. Hi. Hi. Oh, my God. It's so awesome to meet you. Hi. How are you? Great to have you. Oh, it's so fun having you here. So, so glad it was to be fun. here. Okay, here's the first and number one question I want to ask you. Friends or frenemies? Both. Friends. Come <laughs> Because you watch the show, and part of what's so fun about watching it is just the drama. You know, there's conflict, and there's these strong ladies who aren't afraid to mm, every once in a while. Is that by design? No. Friends, good friends, fight like sisters. And we fight really hard. We make up hard. Do you? I, I find yeah. it. It's, it's like our second family, really, at this point. You know what I mean? You fight with your family. Yeah. At the end of the day, you have to live together. Right? You have to make it work. So as much as we do have our quarrels, we, there's a lot of love there. So how did you get recruited into this crazy adventure? <laughs> crazy love. Right? You were just living your lives as normal people. They found me on a, someone else's audition. Regina was auditioning at Pamela Morgan's house for a cooking party. Oh, my God. And I they remember go, that cooking party. I was like, I'm out of here. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, right. I'm asking all these questions, just being me. And they go, forget this girl, Regina. Who's that girl? And then flashback, or rather go forward eight months later, another girl recommended me. They go, we've been looking for you. Mm -hmm. I well, think we have in common Jill Zarin, right? Jill Zarin got me on the real, show. A friend reeled you well, in. And Jill Zarin, I ran into her at uh, Polo in the Hamptons, and she said, come here, you skinny bitch. How, <laughs> how, how'd you get the VIP pass? How'd you get into the VIP tent? Where are the gift bags? Literally, where Jill are the gift bags? everything. Yeah. And then she introduced me to a producer, and they were looking, they had four women, they wanted the fifth, and they had been looking, they couldn't find what they wanted, and they were actually going to stop the production, because Bravo wanted five mm -hmm. and the production company was fine with four so that day Jill and I running into each other was very interesting because she brought the producers out to the Hamptons to find the fifth wife boy did they strike gold Do you know that did I they strike gold with you I sang well, I didn't on that wanna... audition Do... tape which is funny you with... sang on what I sang on the audition, oh, audition and tape Polo. a song that I use actually in my cabaret what? now which is everything so happened not Polo, that one because but, I backed yeah. out I said I'm not doing the show and then at Polo I ran into one of the producers she said, why aren't you doing the show I go, I don't Hello. have time to do the show. They go, so, but can I, I can I tell you, so I watch it and I think, oh my God, who would ever put their lives on television like that? It sounds like so invasive. And yet it's been a great vehicle in many ways for you. And Bethany, I love your story. So you were scrapping when you first started on the show, Absolutely. chef, professionally trained. And there were early videos of you trying to sell your snacks in, in, <laughs> you know, public places and it didn't go well. No. And then well. who here drinks skinny girl margaritas? <laughs> do, you, do you have this woman right here to thank? thank you very which much. I am a big fan as well. Oh, thank you, you just kept hustling, 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 hustling. I've always be hustling. Yes, I was. I and was sold her business for a reported one hundred and twenty million dollars. Just gonna say, just saying, it's a reported. <laughs> I didn't but sell my whole business. Everyone thinks I sold it. The, I just, just sold the, the cocktail part. Only because yeah. someone's trying to buy the other part now, so I don't want to miss that. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Because now you that. can get skinny girl ham and skinny girl <laughs> turkey and things like that. Uh, but do you think the show has been a good vehicle for that? Because people mock it as like, oh, why would you? But the truth is, uh, it was, it's been a great vehicle. I was in a studio apartment. I was. I had $8,000 to my name. I had. I wanted to write a book. I was a natural food chef. All I ever wanted to do was to be on the Food Network, and I was kept being shut down by the Food Network say, you know, production companies were pitching me to them and they said, stop, it's not going to happen. You're not going to be on TV. And since then, they've asked me to be on the Food Network. Uh, but I'm not right. You had the I'm last laugh there. I'm a Bravo right. girl. And Andy didn't want me to be on the show. Andy Cohen, you know, he's the Andy, executive producer. Right. Andy Cohen did not want me to be on this show because I had already been on The Apprentice. So it was interesting. I, I was I turned it down for a month. And then after a month, I said, you know what? I came to the, your tennis match and right. I thought, it's not that easy to get on television. And Ramona, in the beginning, thought it was going to be very successful. I wasn't sure. I said, if it's a disaster, no one will know. And if it's successful, it will but be Ramona a great Ramona saw the seam in I the did. story no, that did. people were going to connect with us. I'm a little us. bit, I don't know if the word is psychic, but I said to the producers, <laughs> I said, we're going to hit a million average That's a viewers. Good word. <laughs> and, no, but I am. Yeah. One letter off. But yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> you can't. Argue. I'm always a letter off. But we did. We averaged one million. We averaged a million. <laughs> When you start being successful at something, call me back. This is the Ramona coaster. She cannot help but go in wearing a meat suit in front of a tiger cage. Listen, now, I am know. proud of whatever you do, okay? You're not. Ramona, I'm going to tell you oh, something. Oh, you're so wrong. wrong. You know what, Bethany? No, listen to me. No. I believe in women. I empower women. You don't. You just yeah, so say wrong. that. It's not true. Yeah. You're so it's wrong. Not, you listen are so to me wrong. right no, now. No, you listen to me right no. now. You are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was
was an exclusive sneak peek at tonight's premiere episode of The Real Housewives of New York City. And we're back now with the ladies, Bethany, Luann, and Ramona. So, Ramona, I know Bethany calls it the Ramona Coaster. Right. Um, and you, you had conflict for a long time. With Luann, you had conflict, with, but you, most recently it's been you two. Is that real? Actually, I don't. We, last season, I was not in a good place. My divorce finally hit me, and Bethany and I had a bit of an altercation. I didn't know how to handle it. This season, you're going to see more calm me. Oh. Um, I'm really. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, you will. In the That's trailers, terrible. in the trailers, I'm really not in front of the. In, in, in the thick of it, I'm kind of taking people to the side and saying, hey, can't you work this out instead of doing it directly to them? I love that that clip is the calm, is the calm Ramona. Um, it's very important television. Yeah. And <laughs> Luann, you had your own roller coaster. You know, we saw you were, you were arrested. <sighs> it was it December or January? Yeah. No, just before on Christmas Eve. Okay, in Palm Beach. Yeah. Uh, as a result of a, a, a drunk incident. Yes. And it led to an altercation yes. with a police officer and so on. And you've since been to rehab. So where mm -hmm. are you now with that? Oh, my God. I'm in such a better place. I hit the wall running 100 miles an hour, and, um, and I fell. And, uh, and I got back up. And that, I healed myself. <laughs> you know, through, um, through good therapy, yoga, meditation, through, you know, everything that I've been through, um, to, to rise to where I'm going in my life, which is with my cabaret and my, my music and the Let show. Let me ask you about that, because we heard the singing, Money Can't Buy, you clap. <laughs> yeah, I love that you're playing my songs. I know, it's, it's very catchy. So <laughs> what you. are you doing now? You're, you're, you are I'm performing. I'm doing a cabaret show in New York called uh, Hashtag Countess and Friends. I'm doing it in New York um, at 54 Below, and I'm doing it in L.A. at the Cat Catalina Club on Cinco de Mayo, yeah. uh, which is coming up. So I'm so excited because the show is taking a life of its own, and, and I'm going on tour. She's had a very rough year. If you follow yeah, the show, really she rough, married yeah. a guy who all the ladies said, don't marry, especially right. you. You said, yes. here's a picture of him kissing somebody else. Don't know, do it. I know, and I still did it. But I, I guess we all have to go down our own path, yes. make mistakes. We do. So we can learn. It's just like. That's how we grow. It's tell it to any happens. mother of a teenager. You know, it, it, right. that's how and it goes. And you know, it was a fabulous wedding. I well, gotta there's say, that. it was a fabulous party. Can I just and ask you quickly, Bethany, there are reports that this is your last season. Is that true? I don't, I don't, no, I, I, honestly, for you. I don't, I honestly don't know. It's not, this isn't like, I don't know. I, I probably will come back, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. When you finish, it's she been 10, too much. That's right. she it's been 10 years, she... like off, you know, I went, I've been on Bravo for 10 years. They're an amazing partner. Uh, I, I probably will come back. We'll see what happens in a couple of months. There's nothing to do with, people always talk about money and things like that. It has nothing to do with we money. We know it's not the money. It's not the money. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just. You know, it's my daughter. It's my life. It's yeah. sometimes you say like enough. I just want to kind of breathe and mm -hmm. and. But it's been really nice. Once we wrap, it's really nice to just oh. relax and just yeah. not have these well, kind thank of discussions. You. Thank so. you for the laughs you've given us, and we hope You're there welcome. are many, many more. Oh thank my you God, also. I forgot to say what? Oh. I'm doing a song. Are you engaged? A new song. Oh, no, yeah. I'm not oh, yes. engaged again. Don't worry. I'm not I forgot. I'm doing a song. I'm so excited. I'm doing a new dance single for everybody likes money and chic. I'm doing a new song called Make It Part of the Dance. If you fall, make it part of the dance Fun. with Jake Shears from the Scissor Sisters. Awesome. And you're learning that today here. All right. We love breaking news. We had all the best of it. All the best of all of you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. And for more on The Housewives, you can go to today.com slash Megan today. Be sure to check out the premiere, the season premiere tonight of The Real Housewives of New York City on our sister network, Bravo. It's at 9 p.m. We'll be right back. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.